just a vlog. Just a vlog, Ian. These are, these are the videos our viewers like most, judging by the comment section. Don't break the tube, Bogdan. Don't do it then. I mean, do it, but don't break it. All right, guys, we've had a super busy week. Uh, I want to show you some updates around the shop. Come over here. Now, what do, you, what, what do you guys notice? Anything? Let me, let me look down. What am I standing on? We just built a second mezzanine in the garage. Oh, oh, oh. Fourth. Fourth mezzanine in the garage um, with tons of desk space for all the new team members on the Hacksmith team. You guys already know Bogdan. He's hard at work making a laser bazooka right now. He actually just finished his first year of mechatronics at school, which means he's here full time this summer to work on projects. Uh, and we've got Pepper Potts working on sitting on the couch. We also have Jordy over there. She's a film production student and she's gonna be help, helping uh, up the video quality here. Uh, really, you know, make our videos more professional, more awesome. It's, I wrote something that made more sense. She's going to be increasing our video production quality because she actually went to school for it, whereas we're engineers who make media. It's, it's kind of weird, I don't know how we, how we got here. How do we get here, Ian? One video at a time. One video at a time? One video at a time. Yeah, no, I guess. no, I just kind of hold a camera and we do stuff. And then yeah, that's true. I like it on the internet. Anyways, let's head downstairs. We've got all this open space now underneath the mezzanine. I think the Bat Baja looks pretty awesome under here with all the new lighting. We finally organized the weapons cabinet and now it features only Hacksmith projects. So we got the shield, we got Psylocke's sword, we have Genji's sword, we have the Attack on Titan swords with the sheaths and we have a future project, hint hint, right here as well as some batarangs and a few other things. Fan mail. And since our last video, uh, when we told you guys about our P.O. box, we got some more fan mail. So it's a bit messy over here. Just we got a few letters here. A big old box from, from Amazon, I guess. And this is a really cool one. So if you guys remember, oh yeah, my shoulder is healing quite well. It's been two weeks since I dislocated it, and now I have pretty much full range of motion just a bit of pain. I've been going to physiotherapy and it seems to be healing pretty fast. So hopefully I'll be able to use the Batman grappling hook gun. But in the meantime, Ian took over and we got some awesome footage. That video should be coming out really, really soon to Ian. I'm Batman. I know I keep saying that, but literally we just need one more awesome epic test to finish off that video and it's gonna be sweet. But anyways, if you guys didn't watch my last video with the Guardians of the Galaxy jetpack, I dislocated my shoulder on a longboard shopping cart while wearing a jetpack. If you guys think that was a dumb idea, it was. You guys heard me, right? You guys heard me. I said I told him not to. No, rien de rien. No. Ah! Ah, God. Oh, oh I just just popped back in place. But in that video, I said not once, not twice, but I think three times, why can't longboards have brakes? I really wish they were just like brakes. Why can't longboards have brakes? Well, someone actually commented in the YouTube comment section saying, hey, I run a company and uh, I make brakes for longboards. Do you want a set? And I'm like, heck yes, I want a set. So he actually sent me, this company's called Breakboard, and he sent me a set of longboard brakes. So we're going to get these installed on the longboard and I am going to not give up longboarding even though every time I've done it I've injured myself pretty badly. But with these it will be a little bit safer. Let's check out the fan mail. First one is from Philip Blount. Blount? Blunt? And, whoa, it's got pictures and stuff on it. That is a sweet sword. 
Dear Hacksmith, I went to HeroCon this year and I met the artists of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles of the Sonic Universe, Mega Man comic, and Dennis the Menace. I don't know if you're going to be there next year and come to Charlotte because it is coming back this year in June and I will send you the information. Ah, that would make sense why he sent me a second piece of fan mail. I guess this would be the HeroCon invite. No, this is the exact same letter. It's kind of confusing. Carrying on. We also have a letter from Damon Reynolds. Dear Mr. Hacksmith, my name is Damon Reynolds. I am a 15-year-old from a town in Iowa. I have been watching your YouTube channel for almost a year now. I saw in one of your last videos that you got a TIG welder, and if you are not using the old one, I will give you $30 for it. I can't wait for your next Batman grappling hook gun and Batman tumbler videos. I hope you'll accept my offer. Your fan, Damon Reynolds. Here is the return address. <laughs> Unfortunately, Iowa is pretty far away, and it would probably cost 100 maybe 150 bucks to ship. You can actually buy one for less than that from Harbor Freight in the States, which is a, a great story. I always go there whenever I'm in the U.S. Cheap tools, and it means anyone can become a maker. So you guys should check out Harbor Freight if you're looking for cheap tools to start making stuff. All right, so what's in the box? So we actually already opened this. In the last video, we mentioned how companies could send us product samples if they wanted to potentially be featured in a future video. And I guess Aki took us up on that offer because they sent us a whole bunch of stuff. We got tons of USB cables and high power USB chargers, which, which are absolutely fantastic. We have them set up all over the shop now because as you guys know, we use a ton of video cameras around here and it's important to keep everything charged and organized. So when we're doing a project, we're not waiting for batteries to charge to make sure we get that action shot with the cameras. Aki has tons of high quality electronics at great prices. And better yet, everything's available on Amazon. Check them out, there are links in the description below. Let them know the Hacksmith sent you. They also sent us a whole bunch of solar panel uh, LED lights, which will be great for around the property at night um, so you don't trip and die because we tend to leave some dangerous things outside. Laser tube, laser tube. That thing is gonna light things on fire. In other news, uh, we have access to a really cool filming location. Take a look. Come on in. So we've got access to this abandoned warehouse to shoot some projects. Let's take a look around. Some nice high ceilings. Probably a good place to test the Batman grappling hook gun. Let's look over here. It's kind of odd. Quite a bit of open space too. We might be able to test the uh, the Batman tumbler in here. Steel. And the electromagnet wall climbers. <laughs> it's a, like a dream test facility. So anyways, it's a real shame that that place is getting demolished. But on the bright side, we get to film there for about a month before it gets demolished. And we have a ton of cool projects coming up that we're going to be able to test inside that warehouse. So stay tuned on the, the channel and make sure you have notifications turned on. You're not going to want to miss it. In our last project update video, we announced a mixed energy giveaway. Well, it's time to announce the winners. And the winner of the year's supply goes to John Gowen. And our bonus winner from our Patreon page goes to Derek Dolan. If anyone else is interested in trying out Mixed Energy, we have links in the description below. Thanks for entering, and make sure you watch all Project Update videos for future giveaways. Dax Miner says, If the Hacksmith replies, I'm going to buy 80 cans of Red Bull and put them in a campfire. He thought I wasn't going to respond. So we're going to do this introduction thing. I never got a proper introduction. What are you talking about? I introduced you first. Sloppy work, Brogdon. Brogdon. Bro digging. Brogdon. Bro. Bring out the Tesla coil, Brogdon. So we recently got a Tesla coil kit from one Tesla, which we're planning on using for Winston's gun from Overwatch, and we've just got it 
completely built now and we're doing some tests. So we're gonna turn off the lights and see what this thing can do. Yes. <laughs> So it's a complete DIY Tesla coil kit. You have to do all the soldering onto the PCBs. How long did it take, Bowden? Six soldering hours? Soldering probably took about four hours. Putting the rest together talk, took about two, and then fixing it up like three or four times took like another <laughs> six. Don't, don't, don't say that part. They're, they gave it to us. Six hours. It only took six hours to build this. <laughs> No, but seriously, this is actually quite an advanced project, and if you're a beginner to electronics, I might not recommend it. They do make a smaller version, which is equally complex. Just start with some basic projects before you move on to something like this. Well, hope you guys enjoyed that quick update. If you guys want to see more behind the scenes stuff like this, we're actually working on building a vlog channel right now. And you can visit it right there and subscribe. We're going to be posting more content to that and trying to keep the main channel for projects and project updates. So go hit that subscribe button on the vlog channel so you don't miss any updates. So since filming the end credits, Bogdan actually finished hooking up the laser tube, which means you guys are in for a treat. We're testing the laser tube. Take a look. Firing a laser outside of an industrial laser cutter because we are going to build a laser bazooka. I don't know if it's going to work. <laughs> Is it working? Oh, still, hang on, hang on, let me get a close up. We don't even need a pump. We'll just overflow that container eventually. I love physics. <laughs> I was surprised you were able to suck it through that. You were expecting the laser tube to blow up? No, no, no. Like the, the oh. Yep, there's two. One more. Jiggling. Yep, it's working. Not that powerful, guys. It's only an 80 watt industrial laser. I don't even know if the test button works. We never tested that. Power supply is on. Good sign. We need something to push the button with. Oh, you don't want to just press the button? I don't want to push the button. It's designed to be pressed, Bogdan. You push it. All right. Yeah. Oh, it freaking works. It works. <laughs> All right, let's let's move the camera. Let's melt some stuff. Here we go. <laughs> well, it kind of worked. <laughs> yeah, that was my fear. Like the balloon melted and didn't explode. All right, camera still good? Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Damn it. Yay. <laughs> uh, fire. Thanks again for watching and stay tuned for the Batman grappling hook test. That'll be next week. Better be next week. <laughs> <laughs>